Water from a flooded river temporarily halted the electricity supply to a nuclear power plant in the U.S. state of Nebraska. The external power supply to the Fort Calhoun nuclear plant was cut for half the day on Sunday. A mound of earth around the plant collapsed, allowing flood water from the Missouri River to surround the main transformers. Backup generators were activated. The plant operator says there's no problem with a system that cools spent fuel. It says there's no risk of a radiation leak. All righty then. There was a fire in an electrical control room at the plant on June 7th. A loss of power for more than one hour caused a slight rise in the temperature in the spent fuel pool. Local residents are increasingly concerned about the plant's safety. Thank you very much, everybody. Tokyo Electric Power Company, the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, says it skipped testing the plant's water pipes as scheduled. On Monday, TEPCO was forced to suspend a water recycling operation due to leaks. <laughs> the utility began running the filtering system on Monday, but it had to halt the operation after only 90 minutes as the treated water was leaking from pipes that were not fastened properly. The system is designed to recycle contaminated water to be used to cool the reactors. The operator says it failed to check the four kilometers of piping because it did not find any problem during an inspection more than two weeks ago. The company says it will review that decision. Did some surgery here and took off the inlet, but uh, like Goldman Powell would say, surprise, surprise, surprise. Circulating the decontaminated water around the reactors is considered an important step in stabilizing them by mid-July as planned. It will also help prevent the volume of wastewater from increasing. TEPCO says it will repair the leaks and hopes to resume the water circulation soon. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says tonight it has suspended the injection of decontaminated de wastewater into the plant's reactor as a coolant. Only one and a half hour after the operation began, water was apparently leaking from the hose joints. Contaminated water is accumulating in the plant as we speak from the constant stream being injected to cool the reactors. TEPCO has been forced to suspend test rounds of the system a number of times due to problems with a device that removes radioactive substances. But the utility says it managed to resolve the problem by using a different absorbent material for the de device. The company says 1,850 tons of contaminated water was cleaned in the test runs, and it says it plans to use this water to cool the reactors. However, radiation is continuing to leak out of the reactors. The situation is not stable at all. An operator of waste incineration plants in eastern Tokyo says it has found a high concentration of radioactive ash at one of its facilities. A plant in Edogawa that handles household garbage detected 9,740 becquerels of radioactive materials per kilogram of ash from a device that filters exhaust fumes. The operator believes that radioactive cesium had built up in the incinerating process. But it says there is no danger of the toxic substances escaping into the environment as they were trapped by the filter. Legally, the plant can only bury ash registering 8,000 becquerels or less per kilogram. But ash with more than 8,000 becquerels must be stored until the government determines a safe disposal method. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government asked for guidelines. Brock, what's the matter with your whistle? Well, technically, Nancy, ref can't call a foul. Shane was kicked by his own teammates. The governor of Yamaguchi Prefecture in western Japan says he won't extend a permit that's necessary for the construction of a local nuclear power plant. This, in effect, means the building of the plant will not go ahead.
We cannot at this time extend the land reclamation permit for building the Kaminoseki nuclear power plant. This is because the central government has yet to properly outline Japan's future nuclear policy and specific measures about the safety of nuclear power plants. Shugoku Electric Power Company was seeking to construct the plant in Kaminoseki on the coast of the Seto Inland Sea. The launch was scheduled for 2018. However, a land reclamation project in preparation for the construction has been suspended since the Fukushima accident. The company's current license for the reclamation is set to expire in October next year. <laughs> and now for something completely different. French President Nicolas Sarkozy has announced that the country will invest 1 billion euros or 1.4 billion dollars to develop a next generation nuclear reactor. That's despite a rising concern about atomic safety after the disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. France remains committed to nuclear power to ensure stable and competitive energy supplies. France is currently constructing advanced European pressurized water reactors. But the country is already looking to develop a next generation reactor, which is expected to have enhanced energy efficiency and reduced nuclear waste. Following the disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi plant, European countries, including Germany and Italy, announced plans to shift their energy policy from nuclear power to renewable sources. Observers say France is hoping to take a global lead in nuclear energy technology and win contracts to build new power plants for other countries. I love it. Suicides, assassinations, mad bombers. Mafia hitmen, automobile smash-ups, the death hour. 